Pressure is mounting to bring charges against a man who pulled out a gun during a Black Lives Matter protest at the Capitol this weekend. City leaders say they hope the state attorney will prosecute. That investigation is still open. Capital City correspondent Monica Casey is covering it for us. Uh, Monica, what are you hearing today? Well, many city commissioners telling me yesterday and today they want someone to be held accountable for Saturday's incident. It's important to note the Tallahassee Police Department cannot bring those charges. Only the state attorney's office can do that. If you look at the video, you see they created a, a barrier between the crowd and the person with the gun. That's what they were supposed to do to disarm and de-escalate. City Commissioner Diane Williams-Cox commending TBD officers for their quick action during the tense moments when a fight broke out and a man pulled a gun at Saturday's protest. I'm feeling very hopeful that charges will be brought for all involved because we need to send a strong message that that will not be tolerated in our community. TPD says the protest happened without notice to the city. On WCTV's Good Morning Show, Police Chief Lawrence Revel discussing the importance of obtaining a permit. Everybody has the, the ability and the right to, to protest, and, and we clearly support that. Um, the permitting process allows us to make sure that the protesters and the community stay safe. The chief met with Commissioner Jeremy Matlow Monday night. Matlow says the chief helped ease his concerns. We don't know everything that happened. The videos that were released weren't, weren't clear, didn't paint a whole picture. So we, we just want to make sure a proper investigation is being done, and it seems to be that's what's happening now, so we're happy to see it. In an email by the state attorney obtained in a public records request, Jack Campbell writes to TPD that Saturday night's evidence was not enough to charge the man with the gun. He confirmed to WCTV on Monday, though, the investigation is open. We just need to make sure anytime that there's an incident, we always want the public to feel like they can reach out to TPD, they can reach out to the city if they have information. And State Attorney Jack Campbell telling WCTV yesterday there is not a specific timeline on how long this investigation might take. Reporting live at the Governor's Club, Monica Casey, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, we'll certainly continue to follow that decision. Thank you.